According to a 2010 study, our reserves are projected to last only 210 years for coal, 42 years for oil, and 60 years for gas. This means we need to act fast in expanding our current renewable power sources. We need to reduce the current consumption rates significantly in order to prolong the depletion of our fossil fuels. The cost of gas has significantly increased in recent years, but we've done just about nothing to cut down on our consumption. Our goal is to one day have no need for gas, but for now we should try to limit our daily consumption. One way to reduce our daily gas consumption would be to switch from our gas-guzzling trucks and SUVs to more efficient cars and sedans. We should take advantage of the current technology and buy hybrid vehicles that can get up to around 40 miles to the gallon. The United States is by far the largest consumer of fossil fuels. We have the highest consumption rates per capita, well over the rates of China and Europe. The first type of renewable energy we should take advantage of is wind power. Wind farms can be built on both land and water, making them very versatile. Currently, wind power only amounts to 1% of the United States energy production. Wind turbines cost 4 to 10 cents per kilowatt hour, which is about equal for coal price per hour. Wind turbines work when wind pushes on the blades, transferring some of its own energy to the motion of the blade. The turbines convert kinetic energy in the wind into rotational energy as the blades spin and turn the rotor. Another renewable energy source that we need to take advantage of more is solar power. Solar power can be used to heat water for domestic use, generating electrical energy and space heating. Solar energy does not produce any waste and is ecologically acceptable. Solar power can be taken and used directly to run household appliances. Another use for solar power is it can be stored in batteries to be used at a later date. Solar power is also advantageous because you can take any extra energy produced and sell it back to the local electric company. Hydroelectric power is another type of renewable energy that we already use today. Out of the three renewable energy sources we talked about, hydroelectric power is the most efficient. Hydroelectric power is considered to be the only renewable energy source that can compete with fossil fuels. Current projections show that hydroelectric power generates about 9% of the United States energy supply. The force of the water running past the turbine causes the turbine to spin at a fast rate. This spinning motion charges a generator where the power produced is converted to usable electricity and run through power transmission cables. The main point we are trying to make is that we need to make a changeover to renewable energy sources and we need to do it soon. Solar power, wind power, and hydroelectric energy are all a great start, but we could also look into geothermal as well as biomass energy.